if you're watching a movie and you have those four four lines that constitute the screen and you're totally engrossed in the movie and you're not thinking about anything outside the movie, you know that it's a movie, but you're just completely focused on it. And the difference is in my sessions, your eyes are closed. So your body gets more relaxed, but your mind stays alert. Right. And we can get to the point, that meditative place where we slow down your brain waves and get to access the subconscious mind instead of the conscious mind. Because we are right now working with beta waves, our conscious mind, mm-hmm. and and we're having thoughts and we have a running commentary in our heads and we have a very conscious analytical, that's your analytical mind, your conscious mind. And your subconscious mind is your feeling mind. It's your emotional mind. It's where your imagination comes from. It's where your dreams come from. And it has access to a lot more information than analyzing things with your conscious mind. No, that makes a lot of sense. And I think the way you described it is kind of how I felt in the session, like almost like being in meditation. Like it just, it didn't, yeah. it didn't see. And I was just like, oh, this isn't like scary. <laughs> <laughs> this no. isn't scary and strange. This is just like kind of meditating. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's meditative and I sort of guide you. And the only thing that's required is the willingness to be guided. And it's yes. okay. So, and then you find your own answers and you figure out your own stuff. And that's why it's so empowering. And that's why you're able to change. So then you get a recording. Mm-hmm. So all the work that you do in the session, I make a recording about 25 minutes long usually, and you listen to that for three weeks. And it's to make what I say in the recording, which is based on our pre-talk, what's based on what work comes up in the session mm-hmm. and using your work and just creating an, a recording that's full of the beliefs that you actually have when you don't have all this other stuff in the way. Yes. And so making those ideas familiar because the mind likes what's familiar. That's one of the rules. So to make those things in the recording familiar and then the other stuff unfamiliar. And so, that's the point of the repetition. No, that makes a lot of sense. So for people listening who are kind of like, there's probably a lot of terms you've said that they might not know what they mean. You've kind of explained hypnotherapy. You've explained RTT. What is past life regression and how do you use that in your work? So past life regression. So when we do the sessions, there's a lot of different kinds of sessions. The RTT, the rapid transformational therapy session involves regression. And so Mm -hmm. once you're nice and relaxed, you may remember, I say we're going back to the cause, the reason, the origin of that issue, whatever you're coming in with. And so in a moment, we're going to go back to a scene, event, time, place, experience, all to do with the cause, the reason, the root of the whatever, anxiety, depression, confidence, trouble, phobia, whatever. And then I'm presented by the client with scenes. Right. So sometimes, usually people go back to scenes in their childhood, but sometimes people go back to scenes as young as in the womb and wow. people go back to from other lives. It's wow. Like all of a sudden, yeah, all of a sudden, you know, I have a client who's a young African-American woman and all of a sudden she's a Chinese man in the 1800s, you know, and, and there's a situation. <laughs> there. Yes, girl. What? Like, Child. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is something. What? Yeah. So the way that that works is it's like, is it true? Is it not true? Right. I've done enough sessions where, because I have people who come to me just for past life regression. Right. People who are really into Brian Weiss or or whatever. He made the the past life regression pretty popular back uh, 30 years ago. He wrote that book I told you about, Many Labs, Many Masters. But the idea is to take the lessons, whatever is coming up. I said we're going back to the root of the cause of the issue. So the scene comes up and you figure out what the lessons were in that life that were meant to be learned. So what can Mm. we learn from that life that will inform and empower 